Hello, welcome back to my channel, The World According to Lisa. I uh, don't have much makeup on today and my hair is probably a little bit fizzy, but I wanted to um, do a little haul video that um, of stuff I've been collecting. Uh, and I'm going to start with um, the candles. I've been, yesterday or the day before, I was so excited I discovered uh, these candles that I didn't think you could get in this country. I was taking the sticker off it and it's the Yankee Candle. Sorry, there we go. Yankee Candle. And this one's in the Christmas garland. So it smells of pine pine needles and well you can't really smell it. <laughs> pine needles and pine like a Christmas tree. So I was very excited to find these at Spotlight. So if you live in Australia. Uh, you can go and find these at Spotlight. And then I got another one. It says Yankee Candle, America's Best Loved Candle. I got Christmas Cookie. And these are like a, I think, just a, you know, collector's one for, for Christmas. Yeah, so we don't, I have never, ever seen these in Australia before. So, oh my God, that one smells like, baking cookies like Christmas cookies so that was very excited exciting sorry to see um, these candles in a spotlight I went in with Kelly to get something for a project and um, we saw those and then the next one is the glass house fragrance and there's a shop here in Australia called Peter Alexander and every time you walk past it just smells beautiful and I was given from flossy 1298 this particular candle in a little baby one which I've mentioned in November favorites and I want to burn that one and I love the fragrance so much it's a vanilla uh, vanilla caramel so that's you know vanilla caramel can't go wrong so now I can burn my little one that flossy gave me and uh, yeah, there's no sticker on that but anyway the shop Peter Alexander always smells really beautiful so also I bought these shoes which I really like um, they're made in Italy and they're called they're from a shop here in Melbourne called Habit or Hobbit so yeah I just thought these were really nice they're just a leather shoe so they're just you know this like a really soft leather and I had those on today with this at work and I thought they looked yeah, they looked really nice, very comfortable. This is kind of like a summer shoe for me because I'm so obsessed with boots that um, I, yeah, I love, I'm not really a big summer person. So, all right, moving on to the next thing. We now have COS in Australia. This is the very first COS and that's a Swedish company. I was a little bit upset when I found out they... It's just a H&M, same company as H&M. Now, I bought three items, which are going to be very hard to see <laughs> because they're black. Uh, this is a dress that has little detailing at the bottom. And I wore it out to my staff Christmas party the other night. And it has detailing here. And it has um, a gorgeous pocket, pockets in the side, two pockets. Yeah, so... I really like that. That was quite reasonably priced, $115. This one I also thought was lovely. It's got like a little cow neck pockets again. This is a silk, so it was a little bit more. This one was $150. And yeah, $150. Made in China. It's not so bad. It's going to be hard for you to see because it's black. But it's a lovely silk. And then the last and final one, which these all look better on, which was $115 again. And this is this quite interesting fabric, like a rayon. It feels very soft. I uh, don't think this one has pockets, but on, it kind of drapes in at the back a bit. And I just thought these were nice kind of dresses to wear over leggings and things for some. So the other product that I found the other day 
is a Weller product and I've now been wearing my hair curly and one of my friends on here, Flossie, asked me to do a hair tutorial. So I think she means because sometimes I wear it straight, sometimes I wear it curly. So I am going to film that. But I bought this Reconstructive Elixir and it's a luxe oil. And the lady, when I bought it, she just pumped a little bit in. And she said just to kind of start, because it gets all like dry up in here. So she said, don't, don't um, you know, like use a whole lot. And I'll just get the next items in my haul. I have quite a few things here today. Uh, the next thing I wanted to share with you is a book that I got called Rare Bird of Fashion. And this Iris Apfel, she's a New York uh, lady. And she's really famous for her quirky fashion. I'll show you a picture of her and I'm sure you'll recognize her. She's elderly now, but this goes through her whole history. And I thought, oh, here's a beautiful picture of her in New York. And she wears these big glasses. Yeah, and she's just got um, the most amazing style. So it goes through some of her outfits of what she wears. So she's quite famous for wearing these glasses. So um, I haven't had a chance to read that yet. So I will have a look at that with a cup of tea. The next item, um, which I just refills for 2015 which are a little bit disappointing. I did say to Daniel, I have the Agenda MM. I did, which I left this out of my uh, SLGs, my Louis Vuitton SLGs the other day. So I'm sorry about that. I have the Agenda, which I forgot, which I got hot stamped. So yeah, a lot of my friends on Instagram have said that they are disappointed and I mentioned that to Daniel, my favourite essay. They're disappointed with this year's or next year's agenda and I must admit I am a little bit too. Uh, I don't really like to, you know, rag on LV or companies so I don't want to say too much but maybe next year, the year after will be better, 2016. So some beauty products that I got from Mecca, Mecca Maxima, it was my birthday, well it is my birthday, by the time this comes out, by the time I upload this one, I would have already had my birthday and they gave me a present. So you go in and because I must spend a certain amount a year, I'm on a tier where, I'll just open it with you guys, even I've probably saved that one for my birthday, I can't be bothered. So, oh, it says beautiful, beautiful birthday, Mecca Beauty Loop. Wishing you a beautiful birthday. Oh, that's cute. I get it now. Wishing you a beautiful birthday, Mecca Loop. And oddly enough, this is something that I bought last month, the soap. <laughs> so I, I didn't realise... So I didn't realise that, um, you know, they were going to give me a uh, hand soap for my birthday. But I do love this product, this company. Um, you all know I love Mecca. So I'll pop that in my bathroom. Yeah. And I also, at the time, bought the Eve Lom Radiating Moisturising uh, Tint which is absolutely unbelievable. I got the colour um, vanilla, so number four. And the girls were just giving me little samples to get, get me by until I bought the actual product. So, yeah, I can't wait to use that. I'm in love with the Eve Long products. And then I actually forgot what I got. Oh, that's right. I bought um, some Comda 
Garçon perfume. So in amazing green. So this was a, just a little size French perfume and 25 mils actually. So it's quite expensive for 25 mils. Tika's trying to smell my clothing here. So this was $112, but I just thought it was a little purse. Sorry about the noise. I just thought it was a little, a good little purse, um, purse size. Oh, it comes like that. It's interesting. Let's put that there. It comes right like that, so that's quite good, isn't it? Oh, it's tiny. I mean, that is so small. That's the palm of my hand. I mean, I have um, large palms anyway, but that's it in the palm of my hand. It's tiny. They're my little fingers. So this is called Amazing Green. So... Yeah, it's beautiful unisex fragrances, so that's nice. I do recommend this brand, even though it probably wasn't that economical for me to get that size, but this is all right. Like, I can fit this in my uh, makeup bag and just take that to work, you know, so that's quite nice. Now, I had to swap over the colour of my other Yves Lom product, which I did the other day. I had to swap it to the darker shade. So I ended up swapping my Yves Lom to petal number four, which the girls kindly did. So I haven't, I used the, the other one, which was the very lightest one, once, and it was like a Japanese geisha girl, like I was painting white on um, my face. So I thought, oh no, this is not gonna work. I mean, I, I made it work for the day, I, but I had to put a lot on, so I thought, no, I'll take that back. So that's my haul. Uh, I'm going to do a haul every month, like a shopping haul. Well, just of any little knickknacks. I mean, obviously, I went on a candle craze um, in November. It's actually December now. <laughs> but in the world of YouTube, that doesn't matter. So, yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you and I have this ginormous mess in front of me now and Chica um, is trying to sniff it all. So, yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.